In The Night Circus, Aaron Morgenstern skillfully interlaces scenes of whimsy, fantasia, with meticulously crafted, elaborados enigmatic characters. Two silent figures, a man and a woman, stand on a platform, observed by circus patrons who notice their statue-like stillness. The woman's bridal-like dress, vestido similar a uno de novia, and the man's pinstriped suit, trarayas finas, with his bowler hat, sombrero hongo, perched perfectly, present an almost theatrical tableau, strikingly elegant, sorprendentemente elegant, yet unreachable, inalcanzable. Their heads inclined toward each other as if locked in a perpetual, unspoken moment of intimacy. As the onlookers linger, they perceive the faintest hints, mas lives indicios of movement, though the figures never truly connect. The narrative shifts to a luxurious anniversary celebration for Le Cirque de Rêve held at Chandresh Christophe Lefebvre's opulent townhouse, Lujosa Casa de Cidad. The decor, decoración, a riot of colors, explosion de colors, creates a stark contrast to the circus's typical monochrome palette. Every room pulsates with chromatic variety. The flowers, cocktails, and even the attire, vestimenta, of Chandresh's ensemble, conjunto, reflect a kaleidoscope of shades. This vibrancy underscores the extravagance of the event, attended only by members of the circus and a select few guests. The flamboyant ambiance, exerante, accentuates the exclusivity and mystical allure, attractivo that define the world of Le Cirque des Rêves. Among the eclectic attendees, assistant eclecticos, are Poppet and Widget, the circus's youngest members, gifted two kittens by Chandresh. Their fiery hair and colorful attire, vestimenta colorida, highlight their youth and connection to the fantastical aspects of the circus. This camaraderie among guests is emblematic of the circus community. From Mamer Padva's dignified repose to Hertisen's silent observation beside Celia Bowen. Celia's dress, which changes hues to, to match her companions, is a tangible reflection of her adaptability within the enchanted world she inhabits, Quella Habita, suggesting her role as a conduit, un conducto, of the circus's magic. The dinner, a midnight feast, features dishes that transform into vibrant displays when cut open, enhancing the sense of surreal wonder, maravilla surrealista, that pervades the circus. Chandrish's impromptu speech, though meandering, celebrates the uniqueness of their shared dream, elevating the circus as a realm of both artistic pursuit and familial bond. His words, though scattered, disperse us, underscore the intangible connection vinculante the circus and its members as they navigate a shared legacy marked by dreams and intricate rituals. In a final, intimate moment, Celia and Marco share a passionate embrace, abrazo apasionado, an electric connection barely hidden from the gathered guests. Their interaction reveals a forbidden romance shadowed by the constraints of their magical rivalry. Morgenstern's language evokes an ethereal tension, tensionitaria, with the lover's clandestine gestures magnified by the surreal surroundings, and torno surrealista. This scene epitomizes the blend of enchantment, mezcla de encantamiento, and longing that defines the night circus merging fleeting passion with the timeless, haunting beauty of an ageless dream, Sueño Eterno.